Well, you know, it still feels a little bit like summer outside, but cooler weather is coming, and that means apartment complexes will soon be kicking on the heat. Well, for the more than 300 public housing buildings across the city, that's no easy task. This was John Chandler got an up-close look at the tough work that goes into making that transition. It might feel like summer in the city, but inside the boiler room, workers like Angelo Cargo are steaming towards winter. It has to get done. Yeah. You know, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Winter, at least for NYSHA, begins October 1st when they turn on the heat. Some 1,900 of these $2.5 million Titanic tanks need to be cleaned, inspected. It's an amazing responsibility. It's a responsibility Robert Knapp understands because he's lived it. I was born and raised in New York City housing. Now the heating management director, he started as a tech 31 years ago when the only way to clean these boilers was by hand. You used to get your hands dirty back there. We used to get very dirty. And they still get dirty. NYSHA also got flack in 2015 for turning off the heat at night when temperatures outside rose above 25 degrees. Well, that old policy is now old news. We now are required to give heat all night um, and maintain inside temperatures. Sure. Right. Well, because people need heat. Yes. And with 400,000 residents, NYSHA is used to taking some heat, like from a vet in Francine, who say for several months their hot water would go out on weekends. I have cold water right now. Right now? Right now. The apartment water is freezing. We took that issue to NYSHA. They say the problem is fixed now. It stemmed from shutting down some boilers during summer maintenance. It's like a car. You know, it's going to break down. And, you know, our job and our role is that when it does, that we're on site and we're making the appropriate repairs. And my biggest fear is something breaking in the middle of the night. Safe to say, it's a common fear. Hopefully we won't have that this winter, but that's... You know, it's up to them. <laughs> John Chandler, News 4 New York.